Good morning, this is Cindy, and welcome to my channel, and to day 28 of Jelly Postcard Play. We are in the final stretch, and today I am doing a different kind of house. The first third I did butterflies, the second third of the month I did flowers, this third I am doing houses of sorts, different kinds of houses. I did apartment houses, I did a castle, uh, now I am doing a schoolhouse. Of course I'm doing a schoolhouse. I used to be a school teacher. I think rather than cutting this, I this is the piece that I the same piece that I did with the heart for home is where the heart is. But I like the circles and the geometric piece of that for a school. So I'm going to take. I pre-stamped a schoolhouse on here, and when I show you the card, you'll see why I'm saying it's appropriate. This is out of a um, science book. Experiment noun, how will upright fine tubes affect water in which they are placed? And it is a science experiment that you might do in school. So I thought I would put the school down here. And oh, and I put a little bit of washi up at the top and the bottom. This is just a geometric washi that I thought looked like a uh, graph paper, which seems to be fitting. I just don't, I like it. I just need something around behind it. What does it need behind it? I think I know exactly what it needs. Hang on, I'll be right back. I'm back. I went and got my circles. I figured with the circles here and here and the circles on here, it needs some circles behind it. And I found circles that look like they are graph paper. It's perfect. I do have a little flower that I could put down there, but that seems not quite right. I have a little bit of pink here, a little pink circle. Maybe we'll throw that in there too, just to, I don't know, we'll leave it like this for now. Let's, let's just get these things on here first, and then we'll go from there. Okay, now do I want to put anything around my picture to frame it off? I think not yet. Um, hang on. I do have this rhubarb stalk memento. Let me grab my thing my bob and I think I do want to just give it a little bit of a an edge not a lot of edge just a little bit of an edge there that sets it off let's set these guys off so these were a couple of circles that I did out of some scrap paper a while back, I had an extra piece of scrap paper that wasn't going to be useful for much, so I had made circles out of them. I have a tendency to do that, obviously, with a lot of papers that are just extras hanging on. Okay, I want to put you guys here and here. So let me grab, I'm going to use Fabri-Tac for this because I want to make sure they don't move. Obviously, this was cut out of um a sheet that had something else on the back but I liked the solid color piece of it and we'll get the circles and the graph paper all together Come on. okay I've been having a lot of fun with these. It is getting towards the end of the month. We are almost done. I will admit I'm kind of looking forward to getting back to my normal schedule. But I have, this has been really a lot of fun to do this this way. This particular jelly print was just made on um, computer paper. It's nothing fancy. And I'll show you the stamp I used in a moment. It was this stamp. It's a schoolhouse. 
So I have a schoolhouse down here. Now I do need my 23 up here. So let's use the same memento. I was going to use black, but I'm thinking we need something a little bit brighter. So there's my two, and I'm using my kind of playing around numbers because we need a little bit of Oh, and I didn't quite come off correctly, but that's or lined up correctly, but that's okay. Because I like the fact that it looks like kind of an elementary class. So there we go. Day 28 of Jelly Postcard Play. I hope you're having a good time. And this is Cindy signing off.